Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on Superman, the black Superman here. I'm just kidding, it's, it's, it's Teth Adams, okay, and I, most of you already know that, but anyway. Uh, we're going to concentrate on the articulation. Uh, the figure in itself I thought was a diamond select, so I'm looking it up and it's like, no, no, it's not a diamond select. It's an actual McFarlane figure. Now I will tell you this about McFarlane. They have some fantastic figures. They are better, in a way, when it comes to details than that of NECA. But don't get me wrong, now NECA's coming into its own with its figures. They're doing a fantastic job on that part. Uh, but anyway, this is Teth Adams, Black Adam, um, from the movie with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, in the movie in itself, I thought it was okay. It wasn't overly impressive. Uh, it was one of your typical base-type movies. Some elements in the movie were very cool, especially in the beginning, and his uncanny strength when he caught that statue. I thought that was actually pretty cool, right? But all in all, with uh, Hawkman or Hawkeye, or I can't remember what his name is, he was a cool character too. Uh, some of those uh, particular characters in Black Adam are quite powerful, okay? According to the, uh, the comics and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to talk about this particular figure. We'll talk about the articulation, as well as uh, certain other things. The movie in itself, like I said, was okay. Okay, I'm letting you look at the figure and stuff, so I can talk a little bit about the movie. Like I said, it was okay. Uh, according to um, Dwayne Johnson, he made a big fuss with the studios. He was trying to push the issue with the, the whole Black Adam versus Superman with Henry Cavill. That, in my opinion, is it should have been it should have actually happen, but. With James Gunn and the new DCU uh, type situation going on there, he's now running. Uh, was it DC DCU now, or is it, or is it DCUA or something like that? But anyway, um, he's doing that situation and his new movie, Superman Legacy. Uh, I can't remember the kid's first name, but it's Corn Sweat or something like that. Uncanny look. He looks very similar to Henry Henry Cavill, and I thought that was really uncanny. Uh, for me, in my situation, as close as he looks the way he does, I don't know why they just don't leave Henry Cavill in it, but for obvious reasons, he's probably going to ask for too much money, and the fact that he's older didn't help the matter, because uh, these movie studios, when they make these particular characters, they always have to have to be the, uh, the young versions of them. I don't get that, because Henry Cavill's not that old, and he doesn't look that old, uh, but I'm sure that for obvious reasons, they're going to do their own thing. They're rebooting the entire franchise. Uh, the whole Black Adam thing is supposed to be a sequel. It's not going to happen for right now. Uh, they're going to be doing their own thing. And then eventually, somewhere along the line, something might happen. But we will have, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But anyway, let's get into this particular figure. Because I don't want to drag this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down. Okay, I'm going to push everything out of the way so we can look at the figure. And other accessories that come with the McFarlane figure. I will be right back. The only accessory that this thing actually comes with is this bad boy right here. It is a card, and it shows uh, Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. And I pull that up close so you can see it. So what I do is I kind of lean it up against the other uh, figure so we don't lose it. Now on the back, it's got some information on it, okay? Now, if you want to read this, I'm going to pull back. And what you can do is actually stop the video and you can actually read it. Let me pull it in a little closer if I can. There you go. Okay, enough about the card. It is a DC comic character. Uh, he's the one that's kind of messing around with Shazam. Now, Shazam, they say, is more powerful than Superman. Uh, you know what I'm saying, but anyway. And he's more childlike only because of Billy Batson. Uh, he's a child in himself while well, he's a kid. Captain Marvel, I think, is stronger than all of them, but that's just my personal opinion. She's badass, anyway, in the Marvel movies. Okay, anyway, let's get into the figure itself. Alright, let me get around the camera here. Alright, now, this is Black Adam McFarlane figure. Hold up close here. Let 
Now I've noticed one thing about this here. That if this bends upwards, that's not a good thing. See? That's part of the uh the logo here or the uh what do you call it? the insignia or the chest plate um the hope sign. <laughs> I don't know what the but anyway, let's get into the uh arms here. They got nice to articulate. The cloak is absolutely cool. Okay. It's very realistic. I mean, the detail is like spot on. The colors and everything. Alright. And then we'll get into the articulation here in a second. The feet do have holes in them so you can use the actual neck stands okay and just fit it on there because if you don't position these right they will fall over okay and the unique thing about this let's start with the articulation of the feet the toes move up and down as you can see that's cool all right along with the feet okay so you can position this so it can stand and the knees they actually bend as you can see it's got different configurations I'm not sure if we can actually twist it. Yeah, I get and the hips you can twist it. Right, but it does bend at the knees, okay? And the same thing applies to the other side as well. The hands. They seem to twist with the arm. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the hands twist separate from the elbows. And the elbows do bend, okay? up in the shoulders just like a necker figure it's got 32 points of articulation the head does move side to side okay I don't know if you can actually remove the cloak from it but we're not gonna find out all right all right now the legs they move from the hips like like a necker figure the torso does twist okay say it does twist okay but it is a little loose, so you don't want to play around with it too much. The cloak. Okay, let me give you a close-up look at that. That's absolutely cool looking. Alright, now it does pull out a little bit. The inside is a shiny black, okay, but it just kind of hangs there. But outside of that, and that's pretty much it when it comes to this particular uh, figure. Um, like I said, I got this a long time ago. I'm not sure how much it cost, but it's very similar to the NECA figures, except for, in my opinion, it is uh, a little bit more detailed than a NECA figure. Uh, in the way that they handle it, put it that way, okay? Now the hand on this one here is a little different, okay? Now I will tell you this about the McFarlane figure, it has an incredible amount of weight. It is a lot heavier than uh, your NECA figures. I think the NECA figures in themselves are not solid, or maybe they are, but they're not as heavy. But this feels like it's got some serious weight to it. Okay, well I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am now going to be concentrating on the Eric Draven Diamond Select uh, figure that I actually got from Walmart and I seen it sitting there. I was like, holy shit, let me get that damn thing and I did. So we're going to be talking about that one next. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys at the very next video. I guess I'm going to you kid.